Welcome back to the Washington Podcast. My name is Drew Fatty, founder and host of the show. Thank you for joining us this evening. Our coverage today is a special report on former President Donald Trump and his ongoing criminal trial in New York. Stay tuned. Last year, the Manhattan District Attorney filed charges against the former president regarding a hush money payment his associates had made on his behalf to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Now, what too many people seem to be fixated on regarding this trial is the hush money payment itself. That really is not what this trial is about. Plenty of other prominent and non-prominent people, for that matter, have paid people off to keep them quiet. President Trump was not the first, and definitely won't be the last. So what is this trial about, then? This trial is about how the Trump team, allegedly, of course, falsified business records to cover up the fact that they paid her off, and also used the fake records to hide any paper trail of any affair at any point. In simple terms, this case is about fraud. The prosecutors say that at the time of the payment, Michael Cohen made the $130,000 payment to Daniels. Then, from the White House, the former president reimbursed Cohen in a way that constitutes fraud. The means of delivery for this fraud just happened to be the scandal of an affair. But very little of the case has to do with the affair itself. The former president now faces 34 felonies in regards to this case alone. Now let's take a minute to get introduced to all the key players in this Trump trial. Up first is Alvin L. Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney and the lead prosecutor for this case. Next is Stormy Daniels, the adult film actress and recipient of the hush money payment at the center of this case. Up next is Michael Gowen, a former Trump attorney and self-proclaimed thug or fixer. His job used to involve fixing Trump's problems, but it now appears that he is one of Trump's problems. Next is Hope Hicks, former White House communications director a prosecutor say had a frenzied phone call with a uh, former president to keep his stories of, ma of marital infidelity out of the press soon after the infamous Access Hollywood tapes leaked weeks before the 2016 election. Finally, we have Todd Blanche, the chief defense lawyer for Mr. Trump. Now this is a very hypothetical scenario, because in the United States, you are innocent till proven guilty by a jury of your peers. This means that people are accused of crimes and given a free and fair trial. If the former president is found guilty, Experts say that he would still be able to run for president, although it may shake up the stability he is riding on. Stephen Salzberg, a legal analyst and professor at George Washington University, said that people will hesitate before voting for a convicted felon. So this doesn't seem to change the likelihood of his base abandoning him, and here's why. Since the first charges were filed, Trump has been extremely proactive in framing this as a man being politically targeted. This has riled his base up significantly, and to a large degree has helped him in the polls. Stuff that would have tanked any other presidential campaign is pushing him farther and farther up. It's a phenomenon that many struggle to understand. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the trial against former President Trump, it becomes evident that this case transcends mere allegations of hush money payments. It is about the integrity of our legal system, the accountability of our leaders, the very essence of justice itself. Regardless of the trial's outcome, its implications are far-reaching. It prompts us to reflect on the values we hold as a society and to the standards we hold our elected officials. It underscores the importance of transparency, honesty, and the rule of law in our democratic process. As we await the verdict, let us remain vigilant in our pursuit of truth and justice. Let us engage in constructive dialogue, something that seems to be severely lacking from modern society. Let us educate ourselves on the issues at hand and participate actively in shaping the future of our nation. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and insight. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay tuned for further updates on this consequential trial. This is Drew Fackney, signed off for the Washington Podcast. Good night.